Yo, what's up? You're watching Screen Collider right now. Well, I'm no one's What's cracking, movie nerds? Happy Monday. Welcome back to another video. Now, basically what today was going to be was just, you know, a kickback, relaxed day, get some homework done. But, you know, 911 Lone Star last night was just way too emotional. So I just thought, you know what? Why not do something a little exciting today? A little something to take my mind off it. Well, today I'm going to do something that I have never done on this channel. I am going to show you guys how to make the perfect, perfect DIY A&W root beer float. Yeah, I know. Okay, so if you guys just heard Natasha there in the background, she's making mac and cheese over there. Okay, it is an A&W root beer because I couldn't find A&W root beer, so... I had to go with the selection kind, and let me show you that off right now. All right, so as you guys can see here, we had to get the selection kind, but it's not exactly A&W, but eh, close enough. It's not barbs or anything. So the next thing you're going to need is up here, the thing I got yesterday at the store. Gaily whipped cream. I know. All right, then the next thing you're going to need is that last little bit of rich Chapman's ice cream. Now... I know you guys are probably wondering why the heck, like, am I making it like this? Like, this is not how A&W makes it at all, but it's close enough. I mean, so yeah, so I'm going to have to find a cup right now. Let me see what I can find here. Ooh, perfect. Hold on, I'm just going to sit you guys down there for a sec. Okay. Okay, so what you guys are going to need is... Obviously a cup, as you guys can see right there. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a spoon, first of all. I mean, these are obvious ingredients. Make fun of me if you want for having to take these, for having to show you guys that you need to take these things out, but I'm gonna get the ice cream open. Ah. Open that up. Grab that last little bit of ice cream. You're gonna scoop it out. Like scoop it into a ball like that. Now the first thing you're gonna want to do after you do that is get the root beer out first of all. So you're gonna take that, pour that in there. Oh yeah. The next thing you scoop the ice cream out. You're gonna put the Ice cream in the cup there. And you know what? If you're feeling adventurous. Mm. Oh yeah. And then, guys, favorite thing to do since I was a kid, check it out. Okay, guys, beg my part. That was not meant to happen like that. I literally just went to go squirt a little bit into my mouth and it literally came out like rapid fire. This is the proper way to do it. Mm hmm. One more, I don't get it on my hand. Now, normally, and take the whipped cream. Let's make a nice mountain. Oh my God. Guys, if your mouth isn't freaking drooling at this point, please leave a thumbs up. Please, please leave a thumbs up. If your mouth is not freaking drooling at this point, 
Oh my god. So now you're gonna wanna clean up. Cause Alright, take the spoon. You know what? I'll just worry about this later. And now, close that up. I'm gonna take the root beer float to the table. Just freaking make it a mess. I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna get a spoon. Now guys, sorry about that. I just had to get positioned there. Oh my God. Okay guys. Oh my God, ew. It's good. Okay, if you get any of this on Potter's paper, it's gonna kill me. This is, oh my God. this is okay, repulsing. Can't really, you just saw me taste it there. Can't really taste it here because it's making a mess. One thing to note about root beer floats, they make a big freaking mess. Okay, didn't want to eat over there because it's getting all over the tablecloth and I don't want to have to clean. So now I got to do it here in the kitchen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can't do eat the whole thing, guys. But it's good. Very good taste test. This does not go as planned. Um and yeah. Stay tuned for the next video. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. One more thing before I cut out from this video, please make sure to like, subscribe. Share this with your friends and also be sure to check me out on Instagram and Twitter where I will have all the latest news updates and news about upcoming videos for this channel. Those links will be down in the description below. So check those out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.